And welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul, and we are continuing with our No HUD, Permadeath, No Starter Ship, EIEIO Challenge. Yeah, there's not enough things we can put into that stinking title to make you understand what we're trying to do here. So I'm picking up right where I left off in the last episode. We're going to go ahead and get down this slope, and we're going to do another 30-minute run. And hopefully this time we'll actually find a ship that would be kind of nice. We're in good shape in most regards. We got our hazard protection. We've got uh, plenty of resources that we can use. Uh, and we're doing pretty good. I think I'm headed, headed in the direction that we might find a landing pad. So that would be great. You know, one of the trading outposts. But at this point, I'll take anything. I'll take anything. Now, as you know, we've turned off the music to the episode, uh, as far as the game music is concerned. You're going to still get the audio from the game, but we have some beats in the background. I haven't adjusted that audio at all, so hopefully you enjoy that. It's beta on uh, OBS, so this isn't something that they normally allow you to do, but, you know, I'm just using a media player, uh, I'm not going to tell you what brand, to play some, just some stream beats. That's it. Some nice background music, too set the mood if you will so that is the place i believe i just came from yes that is the place i just came from as you can see the circular planet is over there no we did not find ourselves a crashed ship that's the sad part i really really thought we were close to one no i don't know if daylight or nighttime is better to find one but you know it doesn't seem to be making any difference to me, so. But hopefully we'll find something here real soon. At least that's what we hope for. Alright, what do we got? Nothing going on here. Alright, let's keep going. Let's check that out. I'm getting to the point where I don't think I have enough more enough room for any more of those, so we can get probably get one more, and then we're gonna have to ignore all the rest so we find any more unburied technology. That is. So let me know if you're having any problems with the audio as well. I think we're doing pretty good here. Hmm. Why do I have one carbon? You guys find that odd? Yeah. Anyway. Boink. I'll go visit this guy over here too. Let's see. He just happens to be there. Sort of on my way. Like I said, we're really kind of hoping for some um, a jetpack technology upgrade. would be great. We only have one spot left on our inventory. Did you notice that? I'm running low on life support gels. Uh, what do we got here? Anything? Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that one this time. I'm gonna skip one. It'll be the one, of course, obviously. Don't see anything out in the distance either. All right, so we're gonna head up the slope next. That's our next spot. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, don't, don't look at me. It's a violation. I'm so violated. Moving on. What? Yeah, great. Will I break anything? Good. Gotta check that, man. You don't know anymore. Alright, so we're gonna need some life support gel. Very soon. Hey, we got some crystals over there. We could go ahead and harvest those. No, we can't. We do not have an S-Class upgrade for our mining tool. That's another thing we don't have. Uh, let's see, the planet is over there. Let's go ahead and just head... Uh, that one looks good. We'll head up there. Oh. The singular dude. How much is that one running? 17 mil, huh? Yep, I definitely don't have that much. Not in the quantities that you would want. I wasn't really trying to get in there, but okay. Uh, hmm. I don't have any idea what I just got. Okay. That dude's a little bit kind of crazy. I don't know about you, but... 
keep an eye on him. He's just going up and down. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't think they have any drunk drivers on this planet, but whatever. Alright, so we're going to head up there next. This looks like a steep slope, not an overhanging one, so... There we go. Looks good. Man, look at all those... These guys, man. They, they, the oxygen things, man. Hazardous plants? There's so many of them on this planet. It's almost scary. At least we don't have to worry about running out of oxygen anytime soon. As a matter of fact, we can probably just get rid of our life support gels. We don't think we're going to need them anymore. Because we literally have so much... So... What's the word I'm looking for? We have access. That's the word I'm looking for. We have access to so much ox oxygen, it really doesn't make a difference. So, we're going to dispense with life support gels from this point forward. Okay, we're at the top of this slope. I don't see a thing that's going to appear... And what do we got? More slopes. That's what we got. Don't see anything down there. Yeah. You're not seeing anything, right? Back the other way. Alright, next slope. Well, those jetpack upgrades would really come in handy. I know I keep mentioning that. I'm sorry. I need to shut up and not repeat myself so many times. All right. You know what's a really big help in learning how to uh, do streams and videos like this? is you, you, if you have to be able to talk to yourself on a regular basis. Yeah, you got to kind of be just a touch crazy. Or eccentric, as they say. Am I eccentric? I don't know. We had something happen today. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about it because it bothers me. So this is a good time to talk about it, right? When, when you all can listen to it after I have spoken it and recorded it. And, you know, one might say, well, you know, you probably shouldn't be. But, you know, I don't care. I'm not going to mention a name of an individual or anything like that in this kind of instance. But we had a fella today through our chat, literally ask what the phone number was to the company that he's been working for for the past year. And I answered him. But it was with great remorse and regret that I was answering him. Okay, I just shot through the other side, but fortunately I don't think I damaged myself. So, again, remorse. It was very remorseful that I even had to answer this question. And I was very disappointed, to say the least. I don't like being disappointed about something so silly, but... Oh, I must have gotten a battery out of one of those. But... It was just sad. It's like, how can you work somewhere and not know the number for the company you work for? What makes it even worse, you and I know there are many ways you could have looked that up. You could have simply checked the website, looked at a business card. I mean, if you just Googled it, you would have found it. That's how easy that was. And I was very tempting, very tempting, very tempted to send him a link to how do I Google that.com and to tell him, yeah, you should be able to figure this out, my friend. A ship just landed. Where? Where did the ship land? You heard that. I know you heard that. I heard it too. Where did it land? There it is. Son of a gun. And he's the pilot is there. That's even more rare. Hey, how you doing? Please tell me you have a C-Class ship and you want to sell it. Let's trade first. I don't know if I can sell anything. I can sell anything. Excellent. 
All right, I just make two million. Let's see what else we got. Viking. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I want to keep the phosphorus, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Do and do. See, that's pretty good. Get relics. Gravitino ball. All right. I think we sold all the things that we've been keeping on us for a while now. All right. What do we want to buy? Um, hold on. Launch thrusters? Nope. Mining beam? Hmm. That could come in handy. How much nanites do I have? I have enough to buy one. Scanner? Movement module. That is definitely something I need. What else does he have? Nothing else I need. Movement module is what I need. I will take that. Thank you very much. Now, before you go, may I ask, sir, how much is your ship? That's not what I wanted. Let me try that again and move my stupid cursor out of the way while I click. Two. It is an A-class. I can guarantee you I have nothing of value that I can buy this with. Not happening. Obviously not. How sad that is. I have the opportunity. But not the means. <sighs> okay. Alright, alright. That's not bad, though. Because we at least emptied out our inventory, thank God. And maybe... Pray we got a good upgrade. Not bad. That's not bad at all. 187% on the jetpack tanks. A little bit increased speed on the recovery and recharge rate. Not bad at all. All right. We are in much better shape. Thank you, sir. You have a pleasant time. I'm sorry your ship cost me so much. I really wish I could buy it. Watch this give me an S-Class upgrade for movement. But it's a good thing that we gathered all that, uh, all those nanites on the way, right? Right? Now we have room to... Get some carbon. Alright, good. Moving on. Um, that's the wrong direction. We want to go this way. Alright, how we doing? Life support... We'll use the last gel. For some reason it wouldn't let me choose it. And after this, we're going to just start using oxygen on it. There we go. All right. Well, that was fortuitous at least finding him. I mean, that's a big thing right there. Now we just need to find a crashed ship because there is no way I'm going to be able to afford some dude landing with an A-class ship. Of course, if we had a C-Class, there's a possibility I could have gotten that to work, but probably not. You, I found that in these runs, you need at least about, I think the cheapest ship you can find is about 5 mil. There are no hundreds of thousands, you know, one worth, you know, 300,000 or 500,000 or something. You literally need at least 5 mil. Bare minimum. Six, six and a half would be safer. And part of the... Uh, challenge of this is that you cannot trade in your ship. You cannot trade in your ship. So, yeah. That's what makes this a lot tougher. Okay, we'll take what you have. Okay. Check. Another thermal protection module. Guess what What we're going to do? Guess, guess what we're going to do? We're going to put you right here. And put you right there. And we're going to recharge you with some that. And we're going to call it a day. And let's put you back down here. And put you over here. And maybe we'll put you over here. Alright, we're good. That looks good. There we go. Okay. All right, I like it. Can't believe we got another thermal protection unit. That gives us two that we don't have to worry about for a while, right? Doo -doo -doo. So that was pretty good. I mean, I'm kind of unhappy about that. Now, you're probably wondering, if you guys haven't uh, done something like this before, um, what would happen if I found a landing, a trading outpost, one of the big ones that have landing pads and stuff like that? What would I do? Because I literally don't have enough money. Well, the point is, is that what you do is you, you mark it. You know, you put a marker down so you can so you can't get lost, and you start scouring for 
um, things you can sell. I think I'll stay up here a little bit. That really is neat. That's a neat sky. You know what? I think it's photo time. Let's get up here on top of the slope. These bare slopes make some, some great pictures. And this, this, this glow we've got. Yeah, look at that. All right. And we'll do the, uh, we'll do the facing away from the camera look. Okay. Let's back up. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, let's get all five planets in? Four. Four planets. Yeah. I like it. I'm going to take that picture. I like that a lot. All right. Enough shenanigans. We're going to move on. We're going to need to get up to the top of that post there. I don't see anything down this way. And yes, I did look. I wanted to make sure. Don't see anything. Let's go ahead and head out. You know, the stone went away and you heard that explosion there from the ship entering the atmosphere and it made me think I blew something up. All right, now is this steep enough to get up this with the jetpack? Let's see. You're going to make me stop partway up. It's going to make me stop. Oh, you're a jerk. Okay. All right, here we go. So we're up. view over there, but I don't really see much. Yeah, supplies. Rocks. Things floating in the air. Here we go. Let's see if we can get up this slope. I'm just watching those ships, in case you're wondering. Alright, they're going the same direction as I thought they would be. Okay. I want to get up to the top of this pretty badly. Well, that was a pretty good charge. Alright, we're up. Let's take a peek. Now, wouldn't it be great if right about now we found ourselves a ship? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Wouldn't it be like Sean Murray himself came by and landed in front of me and said, Hey, I've got a ship just for you. Take this. And I would weep. Tears of joy. Much sighing. And then I wake up and find myself still stuck in the stupid flat. Anyway, hey, let's go over here and take another look. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing anything. As I would have expected. But not what I've hoped. Okay, how are we doing? Life support is very low. Let's use some oxygen, shall we? Okay, and one of those just gave out. Now I'll wait just a little bit before I charge them up. Here. Boom. Alright, so we're pretty high up now. This is a pretty good view. I would love to find something right now. What do we got out there? Just more plants. That looks like... like a plant. Alright. Well, there's our planet, and that's the direction we're going in. So, let's head down. We. Make sure I didn't get damaged. Okay, we're good. 
as I jump off that cliff and realize, hey, my, uh, my jetpack ain't working. So I got a funny feeling, looking that we're 20 minutes into this right now, I have a funny feeling we're not going to find what we're looking for. Because I still haven't found what I'm looking for. That's right. Because I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Come on, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's only a problem if I say it out loud where I'm getting that from. Fuse. Okay. Get up this next slope. Imagine what kind of shape I would be in if I could actually do this and go up these slopes all day long. Wouldn't that be... I would think it would be awesome, wouldn't it? With or without a jetpack. Preferably with. Alright, so we're going to get a better view when we get up here. Uh, which one do we want to go to? We're going to have to gather some more, ox more oxygen soon. To be clear. to the top of this one. Let's take another look. That's just metal. Uh, resource, if you will. I don't see anything else. We got a couple ships, which I am going to lose track of, so... Up we go. found ourselves a facility. I don't even know what in the world that is. It is big. And it does not look abandoned, I don't think. So there's a good thing. Alright, well, we'll take a drop down there and take a look. What else we got? That's probably... Machinery. If we can go up a little higher, we can see it. Yeah, it looks like broken machinery. I don't think it's anything other than that. How are we doing? Alright, good. And looks like everybody's done, huh? There we go. And there we go. And you know I want to be certain. You know, you don't want to pass up the possibility that, you know what, Paul? Well, that was actually a ship, and you screwed up. Alright, so let's head over to this building over here. Take a look at it. And what time is it right now? We've got about 25 minutes into this episode, so... This may be our stopping point. Wow, look at that, huh? Actually kind of impressive. From a distance. We'll run inside in just a minute. Let's go ahead over here. Oh, I do see that. That might mean that this is one of those manufacturing facilities. And if it is, we ain't getting inside. I am not going to go through that. What do we get? Circuit board, which we don't really need, but I'll hang on to for now. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Do this first, and I'll take another look. But I think again that this is a manufacturing facility, so we ain't going anywhere inside. 
Yep, reinforced door. Okay. Alright, well, that takes care of that anyway. Let's take a look, shall we? This looks like a beautiful place to have found something in the distance. But we're not going to find anything, are we? This run really doesn't like me, I'll tell you that right now. Let's go over here. So our ringed planet is that way. We're going to continue ahead this way. Uh, let's go just a few more minutes. Maybe we'll go just a little bit over this time. And let's hope for the best. Maybe we'll find something we'll get very, very fortunate that, you know, we stumble upon something that we weren't expecting. All right. Hey, while we're here. A little extra oxygen, you know. Could use it. Yeah, much nicer with the jetpack, right? I mean, hey, we're not getting like 220 out of it, but, you know, 100, 180? That's not too shabby. All right, we're going to need more phosphorus. We'll head over there. Now we have two hazard protections to deal with. Where are they going? Okay. I'm going to get up to that slope real quick here. Yeah, we're good. There we go. And it looks like they're going right. Okay, good. And one of those just dropped out. How are we doing otherwise? There we go. How are we doing on oxygen? Oxygen, we're at 226. Okay. And we're in a cloud. Okay, just a little bit here, a little bit there. We don't need a whole lot of it. Because there are so many of those things, I can get it any time I want. See? Look at that. Got all three. Boom, baby. All right. Let's get up the slope. Here we go. I am trying a slightly different mic orientation as well. So hopefully it comes through okay. Plus with all the filters on here too, I should sound like uh, more like myself finally. And yes, this is what my voice really sounds like. Alright, where are we here? We are nowhere. That's where we are. Looks like we got something over there. Let's take a peek. Looks like we got another building. That looks like a shelter, so that could come in handy. That looks like a good stopping point for us. And maybe we can just take another look around from there. Here, let's uh, let's gather up what he's got. There we go. And we're done with him. All right, so we're going to head over there. Just over that ridge, I believe. There we go. Take advantage of those blue guys when you can. And there it is. Alright, 
Well, we made some serious ground through that series right there. You know, I was just wondering about that. So we took some damage because of that, so we got to be careful. What would be a good idea is if I find an animal, I should really take it out. Alright, let's head over there. Not feeling sorry for myself. But we're just after 30 minutes right now, so that's not bad. What I'm getting to do too? I'm getting to drink. Good. Sorry, I had to mute there for a second. Nothing like a coughing attack to it. Hit you at the wrong moment. else. Alright, I think we're gonna call it here. Oh, well, it's not convenient. That would have given us up to full health supply. That's good. Alright. <clears throat> good stopping point right here. There we go. So I'm gonna call it here. And you know what I might just do? I may just do one more run finish it out for the night. I think that would be the best way to go because that'll leave me with just a couple things to record for the weekend. So I really appreciate you all watching right now. Um, again, we are making progress, but again, we're not finding as much as we really hoped we would. Um, love to find a ship sitting right there and say, hey, I found a ship immediately following this episode, but no, we're not finding a thing. So, hey, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, of course. We're almost there. And, uh, you know, the like button would be appreciated, too, if you really like the, the, the what was being provided. But leave comments. I like I like all the comments. I love when you people are participating like that. If you just have to want to say hi, tell me where you're from, what country you're in, uh, what city or country you're in. That would be great. Really appreciate it. Love to know where everybody's from. i got people watching from Australia and from all over the earth. So... Hey, great to, see, great to see you guys, and I hope to see you again in a live stream coming up, hopefully in the next few weeks. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next episode.